comets, asteroids, and meteors, a la Shmuh. All right, this is a rock, and this is a rock. But they're not just lifeless, motionless hunks of minerals, oh no. They're alive. Really, they're alive. They move through space with purpose. They have personalities. They have hopes, dreams, and fears, just like all of us. Rocks are our best friends. They could even be our pets. Okay, so maybe not everyone is as pumped up about rocks as this guy, but those rocks hurtling through space are certainly more interesting than your run-of-the-mill paperweight. Over the centuries, we've come up with many cute little names for all those wacky cosmic objects whizzing by over our heads. You've probably heard of all three of these guys, but do you know the difference between them? Would you be able to identify one if it climbed a ladder and snuck through your bedroom window one night? Actually, that's probably a bad, bad example. That would hurt. You should call the police uh, no matter what type of astrological body breaks into your house after dark. Okay, so here's the lowdown on the stuff that's high up. We'll start with comets. Comets are bits of icy rock that are hurtling through space, but because they're trapped in orbit around a star, they keep showing their face every so often, which is how we're able to predict when comets, like, uh, remember Halley's Comet, are due to make a return visit. Come around and around and around. They don't actually have flaming tails, a shame, because that'd be pretty cool. Instead, when they pass close to the sun, they heat up and they outgas, uh, which is really not as disgusting as it sounds. But because their gaseous emission can't keep up with them, it appears as if they've got a tail. And as far as we know, this is the only comet with a tail. All right, okay, then how about asteroids? Well, an asteroid is really just a mini planet because it would be too hard for second graders to memorize the names of 150 million planets. Astronomers decided a long time ago to assign a different name to these uh, lesser planetary bodies. But like, some of them are really tiny, smaller than your house even. Some of them you might even be able to take in a fist fight, uh, although don't try this. Many asteroids are located in the asteroid belt, an area between Mars and Jupiter with a very high concentration of asteroids. And as any fashion conscious individual knows, it goes great with a pair of asteroid boots. <laughs> Gotta make sure they're the same color though. Okay, finally meteors, what's their deal? Well, every once in a while a meteoroid, or a big honking piece of rock as it is sometimes called, enters Earth's atmosphere. But when it does that, it leaves behind a visible trail of light which of course is the perfect time to kneel by your window and wish for peace on earth, goodwill toward men, and a million dollars. Yep, meteors are what we call shooting stars. All right, and see shootingstarjh.com for details. There really aren't stars at all, even if they're made out of similar stuff. When a bunch of them enter the atmosphere at one time, you may be lucky enough to witness a meteor shower, although we still recommend bathing yourself indoors. So there you are. Now you know a little bit about these floating rocks in space, and hopefully they stay there. You need to get some sleep. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmook.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.